The Canis latrans, also known as the coyote, coyote, or prairie wolf, has been spotted in all areas of Tulsa. Coyotes migrated to the Tulsa area beginning in the early 20th century, when forest fragmentation and the extermination of larger predators like red and gray wolves led to their spread eastward. Many strategies have been tried to rid urban areas of coyotes, but the effort is often costly and ineffective. Coyotes are notoriously hard to catch and don't survive relocation. Any area cleared of coyotes will quickly be repopulated. Coyotes do provide an essential role in the ecosystem by helping to control the rodent population. They are predators of geese, squirrels, mice, moles, gophers, possums, and other small animals. While rodents make up a majority of their diet, coyotes also feed on fish, insects, blueberries, apples, prickly pears, persimmons, peanuts, and carrots. Although their diet includes a variety of foods, coyotes have been known to kill small pets. The best way to protect pets is to avoid attracting coyotes near your home by following these four best practices. Supervise pets. Remove food attractants. Remove possible shelters. Respond appropriately during any encounters. Best practice number one, supervise pets. While coyotes don't usually attack humans, your pets can be a target. Coyotes may see large dogs as rivals and small dogs and cats as prey. Always walk your dog on a leash. Keep cats indoors. Letting cats roam free is also a violation of City of Tulsa ordinances. And the best way to protect your pets is to not leave them outside unattended, especially at dusk through dawn when coyotes are more active. In some cases, coyotes can climb fences. Best practice number two, remove food attractants. Remove bowls of pet food. Keep trash cans securely closed. Pick up any fruit or nuts from your yard. Best practice number three, remove possible shelters. Eliminate places for a coyote to make a den, like access under a deck or large bushes. Cut down any tall grass or brush that could provide shelter for coyotes. Best practice number four, respond appropriately during encounters. If you do encounter a coyote, stand your ground. Don't turn your back or run away. The coyote can reach speeds of 40 miles an hour. Top speed of a human is 28 miles an hour. Stay away from injured, cornered, or nursing coyotes. Slowly back away. Most importantly, use hazing techniques to discourage coyotes you come across. Act large, yell, clap your hands, use a noisemaker, throw sticks at the coyote's feet, hit hands, etc. Hazing helps keep wild animals wild as coyotes can become a nuisance or aggressive when they lose their fear of people. If you see a coyote that seems aggressive, or if you have more questions, call a Tulsa County Game Warden with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation they can connect you with a licensed nuisance wildlife control operator. Do not contact the Tulsa Animal Shelter as it does not handle wildlife issues. By following best practices, you can help limit negative interactions between people, pets, and the urban wildlife we live alongside.